What I'm gonna show you today is basically a trace that I use a lot of when I'm elevated. In other words, when I'm fishing off high rocks and I need to get a live bait out. It's basically the slippery slide. It's not a non-return. It's just another version, the old way of sliding a bait, a live bait, hey? So very simply what we require for it, a slippery slide, a live bait slide, 4-0, 5-0, 6-0, it's up to you, depending on the size of the hook that you're going to be using. The baits that we're going to be doing today with it is either a live mullet, which I'm going to, unfortunately, I've only got a dead one. Cone sinker or grapnel, it's your preference. Some latex cotton. Kingfisher, 25 kilo. You can use lighter if you want, you can go down to 21, 19, depending on how light or how small the fish are that you're trying to target. It works very well when there are sardines around. Fishing for garrick, fishing for cob. Okay, what we're gonna do very simply is take some sinker snooting, make a figure of eight, and we're going around one, two, three times. There's your figure of eight, slide it down, cut the tag end off. Cut a very short piece. This part will go to the ring. Okay, it doesn't go to the swivel, it goes to the ring. I normally don't make them longer than that. The reason being is when the live bait gets down to the bottom, and you hook up with a fish, you need that part of it to actually pick the sinker. And I'll show you as I'm going how it works. Okay, so there's my sinker, lovely. I'll throw it out. Looking for an area where there's a bit of a rip going. Um, if there's sardines around, bait fish around, I try and throw right into them to make the trace. Again, this gets a little bit harder. I'm just gonna take two of these, swivel, uh, these hooks, these soy rings, and they're lovely sharp hooks. That aside, we're going to put them back to back. You can use a treble if you want. Um, if you do, a 1 0 is more than big enough for it. But I like my back to back hooks. And to make the back to back hook, I'll just take some latex cotton, pinch it in your fingers, and just tie it up. Put some pieces in. What I suggest you do is, instead of doing it on the beach, is do them at home at night while you're watching your favorite TV show. ASFN, of course. Or YouTube channel. Basically, that's pretty much the end of it. To finish it off, what we do is we just do a round circle over it. Take our fingers around, through. It's called a whip finish. That's all it is. It's just a simple whip finish. Take your fingers around, fingers around. Do it a couple of times, pull tight, and that's the end of that. <coughs> Take our nylon, go through both eyes, and form a figure of eight. Pull that tight, lubricate, slide it down a bit. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little hint here. Don't pull it all the way down. Have it about that size. Okay, make sure you're not as tight though. That's very important that that knot is tight. Take your scissors, cut it off. You want a bit of movement in this. Okay, when you hook the garrick or a carb in that, that knot will pull tight. We make this just over a meter and a bit, meter and a half. And make sure you actually pull the line a bit so it straightens out. 
Okay, so it sits about there. Okay, we'll take that. Straight through. Two, three. Lubricate, slide down. Okay, so what you're going to do is, there is your um, trace. You're going to throw, like I said, your sinker out. It's going to sit in the sand nicely, either grapnel or cone. <clears throat> We're then going to get your live bait. If it's a mullet, if you've got a mullet, and this is quite big, I would have used bigger hooks, but normally the mullet you want are about that size. Very simply, all you're going to do is, on the top of his head, basically in line with those fins over there, you're just going to pull that away, pull that away, two scales, and go in, but you don't want to go too deep into it, over and around, and that's basically what you're doing. Now what's going to happen is, you're going to take your slide now, and this mullet will be moving all the way around. This is your leader that you've thrown out. I'm just going to quickly attach it for you. Hmm. You want to find the end, you can't find the end. There we go. Okay. Figure of eight on your leader. Like I said, okay, you've thrown this out. There's your trace. Gone out to sea. There's your live mullet. Or mackerel if you want, or mozzie, or whatever you might have. Slippery slide works like this. You basically put it in, push it around the loop, like that, and it's like a safety pin. Okay, so that's basically what happens. Like I said, this works very well if you elevate it. Okay, it'll go down. And of course, if you take your mullet, mackerel, whatever it is, and you drop it in the water, he's just gonna go all the way down the beach, into the water, and just carry on swimming. He can, however, come back on you. That's why you need to be elevated to keep this, the, the mullet from swimming onto the, the rocks and that. You need to have a bit of elevation on it. So if you go to hotel rocks and that, the higher you are, the better it is. This mullet's gonna be swimming around on the surface like this. The garrick's gonna come up and eat it. If the mullet swims all the way to the end of your line, so your mullet swims all the way to the end of the line over there, what happens is that picks up and if you do get a pickup from a Garrick or a Dogger, this whole system works pretty much like that. The Garrick can swim that way, the cob can swim that way, and you get your pull, the rod goes down, and hit straight away. And you'll pull it, you see the knot, how it pulls tight? And it's quite hard to actually pull that out of your bait. Okay. Keep it small, keep it simple, and you'll get a lot more bites. I've seen guys using 10 hooks and that for Garrick. They're way too big. Smaller is better. Okay, very simple guys. Enjoy. Enjoy.